Come on, Wildcats. Today is Tuesday, January 23rd, and you're watching BTWHS News. The BTWHS Black History Poetry Contest is live right now. The theme has been changed to Still Standing, Still Serving, African Americans in the Arts. The winner will receive a $50 gift card. Submissions are due the 12th of February. For more information, please ask Miss Lewis. The art department is hosting a Black History Art Contest. You will create a piece that embodies the creative vibration of black culture. First place will receive a cash prize and will have their piece put on display during the program. All entries should be turned in to Ms. Broom in the room 401. Deadline for all entries are Monday, February 12th at 3 o'clock. The art department needs magazines, newspapers, and flyers. If you have any, please drop them off in room 409. Baseball tryouts are today, right after school. If you are interested in playing baseball, stop by Coach O'Quinn's room as soon as possible to find out what you need to be eligible to try out. There will be a tennis interest meeting in room 202 tomorrow right after school. Do you need help crafting your writing skills? Then this video is for you. This message is sponsored by the UWF Writing Lab. Hey, I'm Natalie. Let's talk about colons. The colon is often used to introduce a list or an explanation that follows. It's as though the colon takes the place of namely, such as, or for example. Instead of saying, I like only three animals, for example, dogs, cats, and rabbits, you could say, I like only three animals dogs, cats, and rabbits. The colon must be preceded by a complete sentence. Here's a correct example. I hate this one course, English. Here's an incorrect example. One course that I hate, English. I hate this one course is a complete sentence, but one course that I hate is not. Because the colon takes place of words such as namely, do not use namely and a colon. We wouldn't want to say some mammals have no hair, colon, namely, dolphins, porpoises, and whales. The colon stands in for namely, some mammals have no hair dolphins, porpoises, and whales. I hope you find this video helpful and thank you so much for watching. Bye everyone. The root word of the week is ante, which means before. And the word of the day is antecedent, which means a word or event that comes before something. Thanks, Writing Lab. Today is a B day, so please report to your fifth period class. Want to stay updated on the latest at Booker T? Follow us on Instagram at BTWHS News. That's all for BTWHS News this morning. Happy National Coffee Day, Wildcats. <laughs>